guys, what's going on and welcome back to another video and uh, yes, as you can see, I'm still at my mom's house. So I've been thinking about what can I talk about? Like I know I told you guys um, that I would like to be more open with you guys about things and uh, kind of let you guys in on my life a little more and uh, I've been thinking about like what's kind of personal to me that I wouldn't mind making a video about. And one of those things that I, I do actually struggle with um, which I have touched on probably many times in the past, but like I've never actually had like a full video on this But I am an introvert. Uh, I I just prefer like it's insane. It's weird because I actually like one of my biggest fears is being alone and But at the same time, it's like I hate being around certain people and uh, what I mean by that is just there's some people like it's hard like being uh, an introvert in a mostly extroverted or what's the word is extrovert yeah i think it is extroverted wor like world that we live in um where most people are outgoing and there's less people who are like kind of like me and just just want to be left alone um of course like if it was like ever i was to happen to see someone from youtube in real life i would want you to come over and talk to me i am a social person if they're going to talk about something interesting to me. Um, whether that be like, oh, I seen you on YouTube. That would be like, that's nice. Like, I would like that. But then I find the majority of people have conversations about things that I really do not give a fuck about. Um, and it's actually exhausting for me. Like, I get mentally and physically exhausted being around people. And uh, it's got to be certain people that i can be around because otherwise they just exhaust the fuck out of me like it's actually crazy i just can't do it i can't handle it i start to get to the point where i'm getting angry you know when you're just like around someone who talks a lot and they're talking about stuff that you really don't care about like my latest thing like i know right now uh covid is going on in the world but i literally like one thing i hate more than the virus itself is people fucking talking about it I can't fucking stand it. I'm about to pop off, guys. Are you ready? It's about to happen. I'm about to lose my fucking shit right now. <laughs> because this is my biggest pet peeve lately. It's no matter where I go, no matter who I talk to, no matter... Hey, leave me alone now. is not the time. Okay, it's just Karen Waldrop. I'll give her a pass because I stand her. Um, <laughs> but no, I seriously, like, I can't stand it. And I'm not trying to like downplay the virus or anything like that. I'm sure there's like, I'm sure there has been some serious cases. This is not going to get all political or anything, but I, I know 17 people as of now who've all had the virus. Um, and I've been around some of these people too, which is kind of crazy. So for all I know, I could have had it because every single one of these people had very little to no symptoms at all. So for me, I'm just like, you know i'm hearing people talking about it and like it is a fact that this virus is like it's got like a 99.96 survival rate or something like that even for people over 70 has like a 96 percent chance of survival so i i don't really understand how it's a pandemic i'm i'm not like this big conspiracy theorist but i just don't understand how that's possible i've been looking at the facts i don't listen to the news but i've been looking at the facts i've been looking on medical sites and stuff like that um and i i can see it, it definitely being a risk to people who are you know of age very old people maybe in like old people homes or people who have health conditions um things like that i don't know i mean i've yet to meet somebody who's actually had any symptoms that's all i'm gonna say um, the, the only symptoms that they claim to have had the people that I know was, um, and my mom too, she's also had it, but that's because she's a nurse and she was actually working with patients. And my mom even said the people who died in the hospital with this virus were going to die anyway within the next 12 months because they were just, you know, very old or, or had very bad conditions or maybe even terminal things. So I definitely feel like there is more to it than what we're being told. And that's my honest truth, but I still find I just think just take care of yourself and like take care of your loved ones like but don't fucking like overdo it and don't literally let it control your life to the point where that's the only thing you can talk about um because i go to people's houses i talk to people i see people um people i work with friends family and every one of them 
is talking about the fucking virus. And I just, I've gotten to a point where I literally don't care. Now, this might make me sound like a dick, but this is just part of me being like an introvert. I do, if I don't care about something, I will not care about it. Like, there's no way you're going to change my mind. And I am kind of stubborn like that. I would just choose to shut off and completely ignore. Not like in a rude way. I will try and find a way to get away from you. Um, like, I'll make an excuse like, oh, I got a phone call. I'll, I'll see you later things like that but i just won't sit there and listen to you talk and talk and talk and it's not just about the virus but that's an example that's my biggest pet peeve right now people talking about the virus um i just don't i don't get it like why is people so obsessed with it like i literally don't talk about it i don't even think about it i forget that there's a fucking pandemic most of the time but i because i don't worry about it i don't let it control my life you know but there's people out there who literally like this is their life now they talk about it and that's their life that's the only thing important in their life um maybe i'm the one who's wrong i don't know but I, we're not going to get into that but life as an introvert is really difficult because i don't like parties i i always said to my my mom like the weird thing was when i was a teenager i was kind of kind of an extrovert and i did i was very outgoing and social but now as i got older i kind of became more uh, an introvert like i just find it more i can be you know me more when i'm alone uh but i don't like to be totally alone what i would love is to be with someone this is something i've always been like i would love to have a girl um who would like be my wife or something like that and that's something i've always wanted and it's something i've always strived for is to have like that person who is just like me and you know we would rather be around each other than be around other people that kind of thing someone who has a lot in common with me um, because I hate being around people who just don't ha like I don't have anything in common with and they just talk and talk and talk and I'm just like it's actually exhausting like I know you guys probably think I'm being a dick right now being rude and stuff but like unless you're an introvert you wouldn't understand it's it's just not good for me it's not good for me to be around um, it just burns me out and it, it will literally I can't help it though I wish I could be more social and I wish I could get in on all the trends and like talk about the virus all day every day and fucking love it um, but I just can't and I can't stand it like I don't know it's just I need to be around people who are somewhat quiet but also like to have a good time but it needs to be somebody just like me somebody not exactly like me but like somebody who I get along with and relate to and we can talk about this kind of stuff like like oh you're an introvert too me too like don't you hate it when and then we could like connect on something that's the kind of thing i love um in a person to be around but there's some people who just talk and it's insane and you would think i'm one of them because of the way this video is going i'm just like blah 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 blah. but no seriously though it's actually insane and i find when i'm alone i can kind of collect my thoughts and kind of re-energize my body and my mind when i'm alone i can focus better i can't i'm less stressed out i get stressed when i'm just sitting with people talking um i had this conversation with my sister not so long ago where we were sitting in the living room with my grandparents and we were all like together and there's like my sister her fiance my my grandpa my grandma and me and i can't stand that because like they they're all talking over each other and it just burns me out i can't sit i can't concentrate i can't listen it's just annoying so i have to walk out the room that's just the way i am um and it's crazy i don't know why i'm like that but there's other people out there that are like that but i find when i'm on my own i'm alone it's so much more like better for me i can just calm down i can do whatever i want I, do, I can do listen to whatever i want um if i do listen get quite if i do get lonely i listen to a podcast or i'll like you know listen to i'll have youtube playlists running through videos while i'm just like doing whatever um but it's it's different that way because i watch videos that i like kind of like instead of being around people that just literally burn me out which is majority of people like everybody seems to be like that and it's crazy but I, I also find that this is another thing that I have. I've noticed that I am literally like a natural night owl. Like I will stay awake all night and I feel so much more alive at night and so much more full of energy. And like I, I feel better. I feel like 
I don't know, it's weird. Like, I come to life at night. Do any of you guys have that too? Where you're just like, in the day, you're just, I, I think this is what it is. I think it's connected. I put this theory together that the reason I'm more alive at night and I, I can collect better thoughts and I come up with, you know, good, good ideas and I get more done at night and stuff like that. I think the reason for that is because I'm an introvert. So through the day, I find it extremely exhausting because of day-to-day -day life, like such as noise. I hate noises. There's certain noises. This is another thing, which I, I'll get into that whole other video, noises. Um, but I hate noises. I hate it so much. And there's just some noises that actually drive me insane and I can't handle it. Such as like, uh, like no offense to any moms out there, but this isn't your fault. I'm going to know it's not your baby's fault, but it's crying babies. Ah! <laughs> ah! Nothing makes me want to kill myself more than a fucking screaming baby. Oh my God. And I wish I wasn't like that. I wish I wasn't so being so cynical right now, but like, it's just, there's certain noises that I can't handle. A barking dog. I actually wanted to fucking kill this dog. And that is like evil, but like, I couldn't stand it. Uh, I didn't literally want to kill it, but I was just like, oh, I'm so fucking done. I, I actually wanted to kill the neighbor though, because I was like, let your fucking dog in. God damn it. Like I was so angry. I didn't actually do that, but that's how I was feeling inside all these emotions. Like just listening to that. And I was like, I can't deal with this. I'm going to either shoot that neighbor or shoot myself. <laughs> it's one of the, I'm not going to kill the dog because the dog doesn't know what's wrong. But like, you know what I mean? It's, it's dry. like, I'm a very stressed out person. I might seem because even my boss said this to me the other day. He was like, you're a very chilled out person. And I'm like, huh, I've got you deceived then. <laughs> because like, I am not a chilled out person. I am just a big bag of stress. And I stress myself out mostly. But like, I think that is connected. I think the reason why I'm more lively and awake at night is because the daytime and day-to-day -day life and, you know, traffic and noise and people talking and being loud and doing whatever like i feel like that just exhausts me so at night when the rest of the country or the rest of the world's sleeping well half of the world is sleeping i'm just up and i'm just loving it I'm, i like the peace and quiet i like to be able to focus it's it's very therapeutic for me it's like meditation no meditational meditationary I don't know what that word is, but you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, this is something that is, this is a little more in depth. Like this is a little more behind the skin. Ew, that's like fucking Texas Chainsaw Massacre, like behind what's behind here. Um, but no, this is more like in depth. This is who I am and I'm not going to be ashamed of it. I'm not going to feel bad about it. It's just me. It's just the way I am. Some people think I'm an asshole. Some people think I'm cynical, but I can't help it. It's just the way I am. It just exhausts me. I really don't care what people have to say most of the time. Like, I will listen. I love to be talking to people and I will talk for hours if it's something that, you know, I can connect with. But if I can't connect with it, I'm not interested. And I will do whatever I can to get out of the situation of talking to that person, um, which sounds messed up. But it's better than being rude, I guess. Like, instead of me saying, oh, just shut the fuck up. I can't listen to the shit anymore. Like, that would be bad. But I, I don't do that. I try and be polite about it. Um, but does this happen to any of you guys? Like, it's crazy. But yeah, there was something else I was going to tell you guys. But I've totally forgot what it was. It was kind of connected to that anyway. Yeah, if it's something that I'm interested in then I will engage in conversation with you. But if it's something that I really don't care about, I will, I will just shut off and I'll try my best to shut off and ignore you. Um, and just like nod and say, yeah, okay. Yeah. But I'm really trying not to listen because I know if I open my ears to it and listen and take in your useless information into my brain and store it there, taking up space, it's going to wear me out. Like it's going to fucking burn me out and I can't deal with that shit. <laughs> so I just try to ignore people like that and not in a rude way. I try to avoid them. Like whenever I'm walking to my house and I walk past neighbors houses and I see them outside, I'm like, oh God, pretend I'm on the phone, pretend I'm on the phone. Just in case they're like, hey Mike, how are you? What have you been up to lately? Completely. Oh, I can't. And that small talk is another thing. Fuck small talk. Like, if you come up to me and you're like, so what are you doing these days? Oh, I hate that question so much. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> so these, I'm, I'm going to have to go now, guys. I'm stressing out right now. But this is what life is like being an introvert. 
So if you are also an introvert, you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about. Hopefully, wouldn't that be weird if I was the only person? Maybe I am a psycho. Well, I'm going to check myself into the psych ward now. So I'll see you later, guys. And remember to chase your dreams. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoy my videos and you would like to support me and my channel more and also be featured in my videos, go check out my Patreon. Link is in the description. I would really appreciate any help you guys have to offer. As you can see, we have different tiers, different rewards. So go over there, check it out. And uh, I would really appreciate that. Every little helps. Thank you so much. And also guys, don't forget to subscribe with the notification bell on and also follow me on all my social media. I have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even Snapchat. So go follow Follow me on all of those and remember the most important thing, I love you guys and chase your dreams.